Hello guys, thank you for returning to the channel. Um, if you're new, hello, thank you for joining my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about TV shows that I binge watched, basically. So, um, I like to do videos like this, like once a month. I'm going to start doing this once a month where I talk about, originally in the game plan was I was going to do a video where I talk about all the movies and shows I watch. But I decided that I'll just do one talk about TV shows. So, let me get into this. I recently finished binge watching Veronica Mars' new season. And, um, the ending was really bad. And, you know, when it dropped, I didn't, you know, I watched, like, two episodes and then, you know, I got busy watching other shit. So, basically, um, a lot of people were, really, a lot of fans were really mad and I kind of felt them. Anyway, um, you know, the ending was really bad. It's just uh, it's sad what happened to Veronica Mars, what happened to her man. I'm not going to spoil anything, but all, I, all I'm going to tell you is it's is, is, is looking like Veronica Mars is meant to be alone for the rest of her life. Okay, so there was a show on Netflix that I binged. And it was a show about this, about these two women. One of them's a comedian, and she, fall, she falls in love with this like, b with this British woman that's straight, and they have a relationship. And what's that show called? What the fuck is it called? And the episodes, the episodes, they were very short. What the hell was that show fucking called? What is it called? Hmm. I think it was something good. Hold up. Let me see this. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh. The show is called Feel Good. Um, you know, I liked it. I liked it, but I just felt like the main character just needed to be single. The comedian chick. And she, she, she also, she's also an addict. And she's also, like, struggled with in the past with alcohol. So I kind of, like, felt like she just needed to be alone. Um, what else did I watch? I also, oh, that's a show, it's a really, really old show. And it's called Tales of the City, and it's on Netflix. So what, I, the first season's on Netflix, and so is the new one. So, and so I binged it, and... It's a really good show. It came out in the '90s. It's, it's based on these books from the '70s, and you know, it it kind of reminds me of like Melba's Place, and it's like you know this the this street. Well, it's like these apartments these people live in, and the landlord is really nice, and all these young people live there, and it you know it reminds me of like Melba's Place, and like you know one of the guys is gay, like. The landlord has a secret. One of the girl some lived is bisexual. Really interesting show. The first season had like six episodes. What's interesting was the show came out in the nineties, but the first book for the first season is like set in the seventies, so it was interesting. And there was like two more seasons, and I'm on season third, which is the last one before the new one, which is set in the eighties, which is interesting. But I mean, I like them. I'm even reading the book right now. Like I bought. A bundle that has the first three books in them. So, really good show. Tells the City. I'm on the third one. I think it's called Further Tells the City or More Tells the City. One and two. Anyway, um, where else did I? What the fuck? I, oh yeah, I've just been, I've been busy binge watching Grace and Frankie. I think I'm on. What season am I on? Because I watch so much TV, I can't keep up with that. CCCC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm on season four. My problem, I like to show my problem is okay, there was this girl, Allison, and she got my fucking nerves. And just her. Frankie has a son, Brett, and he got my fucking nerves too. And oh, Jesus. I just want to be fast with both of them because they got my fucking nerves, both of them. Yeah. And I'm so sad the fact that the bitches. Are, I haven't ran her off yet. And I'm like, damn it, I don't like her. She got my fucking nerves. Allison, bitch. Ugh. Brett got my nerves too. I'm like, fucking F. Um, I, I think that's it. 
that all I binge watched shows? Let me see. Mm, yeah. That's basically it, guys. It wasn't a long video. But originally I was going to do one talk about movies, but probably all the movies I watched. But the problem is my note. Book's missing. I don't know where the fuck I put it. So I'll find it eventually so I can film that video for y'all tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, well, actually later tonight, I'm filming another podcast episode from my my True Crime podcast. So what I do is I'll like film an episode for it, for the podcast, and then the next day I'll film that video for you guys. What else was I going to say? I, I haven't been posting on my food channel, on my ASMR channel. I haven't. But my goal is to later today to do a, a eating show. And tomorrow to do an ASMR video. But I, don't know, I haven't been making that a priority. I know I need to make a priority. Anyway guys, love you. Peace.